Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Bang Bang Bounce Run and today I'm gonna be doing a run with a ranger attempting the Spikes build. So we're gonna go with short bows and spikes. Short bows and spikes, as many as we can that is. Fortuna Soap, no. Uh, let's go with Piggy Bank for the money. I don't really care about the Lump of Coal, honestly. Let's roll. I will need energy, so I think Banana is a play. Especially because I also want to win the fights. Let's get another bow if I can do so. Didn't find one. And spikes, nice. That's what I wanted. Inventory space also fits. Let's uh, go. Uh, I can transition. So this is 1 to 3 damage, DPS 1.4, this is DPS 1.6, so I'm just gonna throw this away as I'm not gonna use it at the end of the day, and then we're gonna just transition over to this, because whenever an item is on sale, you can always buy it and sell it later for the same amount. Oh, nice, that was fast enough, because now I'm gonna even have the banana giving damage to the pan, so that's even more damage. Uh, so this guy has a wooden buckler over our pan. That's the main difference here. So let's see what wins. A better weapon or a shield? Theoretically, the shield should be winning. Uh, practically, it's... Well, practically we won. Let's go. Actually, was that true that the shield should be winning? 4 to 5 damage, 1 to 3 damage. I'm not really sure. Did this even block? Can I see if it blocked? I don't think it ever says block. No, it doesn't. The shield does not say block. Damage prevented or something. I don't know. Uh, let's go. Let's go and find an early leather armor cheap, but that's irrelevant. We're gonna go here and here. So we're gonna get our first uh, task poker, which is the main weapon of choice. Let's get another bow and let's maybe roll into commons right now. A nice fun what I wanted. Uh, let's go. And I would say another banana. Will I go with Jinx or Killa is the question. I don't think I will go with Jinx or Killa. I think we're gonna mainly go with bananas and food. I'm pretty sure, because it's a nature item anyway. Mm, I'm not gonna lock a banana though, no, let's let's mainly stick to the short bow and leather bags if I can do so. And um, Tusk Pierce, this world was Tusk, that's extremely important, I need to find as many of these as possible. Okay, this is a double garlic build, so theoretically we should be winning. Also now I have spikes, so we're even doing spikes damage. We are gonna be a spikes build in general, just to be clear, but we're gonna play spikes with bows. Maybe I'm even gonna get the spike whip, but that thing spends a lot of energy, so I'm gonna think about it if we find it. But for now, let's go with tusk pokers, as they are called. Nice, so this thing, we got our first tusk poker. On hit, 50% chance to gain one spike. And that is literally the whole build. We're gonna go with a bunch of those on hit chance to spike. Uh, Found attacks, we're gonna roll into spikes right now. We still have a 75% chance for common, so that's the chance right now. I'm thinking about maybe going with Gloves of Haste, as that would generate the, this thing here. This thing, the Claws of Attack, which says attacks faster for each spike you have, and after 4 hits gain Empower. Now Empower is damage for all the weapons you have. So this really fits. Stamina cost 0.5. You know what, I think we're gonna go with that. Let's go with that idea. Let's go with Gloves of Spikes plus Tusk Pokers. Uh, now the build starts to need more and more spikes, as you understand. I'm gonna call out the build in a moment here after we beat this fight, or lose to be honest. Um, we have a double weapon, we have a triple weapon build, and also we have two spikes. So theoretically these spikes should contract the exact amount of damage they are doing back to them. Um, and we should win through that, unless we don't. Nice, we won. Very nice, we had five spikes at the end. So the build is gonna need the following things. I will need, I would say, four to five uh, short bows, and then four to five warlock tusks, and then also one gloves of face plus a warlock tusk, so that's already done, dealt with, and then last but not least, I would say we want obviously the subclass item that we want, which we're gonna get guaranteed, and maybe, 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 I would also like to go with the spike, uh, what is it called? The, the spike, the thorn whip, I'm, I'm assuming is what it's called. We're gonna go with the face here, I'm, I'm gonna go with the spiky gloves. And I will also get the lucky clover to level up the piggy bank. So let's definitely also do that. And let's roll into one more spike. And I found our short bow and also a leather bag. I don't really care about carrots or mana for that matter. Yeah, I'm gonna go full on spikes. Let's not go sideways. Let's not sidetrack because I'm really good at sidetracking. So let's not do that for once. This is a poison build with also a bunch of garlic. We're gonna lose here. <laughs> this is a lot more min max than us. The only way we win is if the spikes somehow help us enough. This is doing 9 to 10 damage. No, we're gonna lose. Guaranteed loss here. 12 poison alongside everything else. Fair enough. This was a very good start from them. Why did this not combine? Are you serious right now? Uh, doesn't matter. Let's go here. And uh, now I'm gonna sell the pan as I don't have energy anymore for that. And we found a corrupted crystal, but I'm not gonna take. Let's get another leather bag. And another banana. Let's roll still. We have high chance for commons here. And I want to find the spike that is. I didn't find the spike. Found another glove of haste, which is irrelevant. 
would like to get the attack speed and obviously all my arrows should be inside the arrow zone nice and this can be here stupid pig should have become already what it was supposed to be anyway now we will have energy issues in general but it's okay as long as I'm generating enough spikes in a timely manner, although I'm only generating spikes through the Tusk Poker, so if that thing doesn't attack and we're not lucky enough, it's just not gonna happen. This is a race, but they have a Goobrit, so we're gonna lose this. It was so close. It was so close. It was so close, just so close. And I found our, our, our bow very nice and lucky. Uh, not bow, I meant Bowler's Tusk. And that's nice. And we also found attack speed, which I would say should go here and here. Yeah, to the good, to the good things. And uh, let's roll. Now I would like to get the banana, then. and I found the weapon of choice, the Thorn Whip. Now this spends one stamina per second, theoretically, and gains damage based on how many spikes we have. And also gives us a spike every time we attack. So many things that fit, but I already have a usage of 1.5 stamina per second, so we already have very crazy energy issues. I'm not really sure about the Thorn Whip at this point, but I will easily get 20 damage, allowing this to do 20 damage. Now when I get 20 spikes, this is also gonna have crazy attack speed. So it's a bit all over the place. Mm, you know what? Let's stick to the Claws of Attack idea. So a bunch of spikes are gonna give us a bunch of attack speed, and then this thing is gonna give us a bunch of Empower. I think that play is safer, and then obviously the short bows get damage from Empower. Empower weapon damage is increased by one. Yeah, so we'll get Empower damage. I don't need spikes damage. Let's not go for the Thorn Whip, as I will have energy issues if I go for that. So I'm just gonna forego that. I'm gonna stick to the idea of what I already am going for. Because we already have energy issues anyway, uh, even with the one banana. So I'm not gonna go into having even more of that. And now they are taking away some spikes. We got our first empower here, which should do a difference. They got rid of all our spikes, uh, but I'm gonna get my second empower here and we should be winning. Nice, we won. They didn't get rid of our empowers, they got rid of our spikes, which by the way was random. 45% chance to remove random buff and they just happened to roll the spikes a lot of times. And we found a spike generator, pineapple. That's also, oh, that's, bring back the shopping list. I also am gonna go for, I guess, five pineapples if possible. Every 3.5 cents gain a spine and heal for three. Spike, not spine. Nice. And we found even more inventory space. And I found our short bow. Uh, I think four short bows would be enough. And uh, let's go. These are still connected here for more attack speed. And these are guaranteed a higher chance to give us spikes. Look at this, a six banana build. Okay. Um, so we just hope we win. They also have two vampirism, which is irrelevant as they don't have weapons. What are you doing, man? This is gonna become a potion build. That's what they're going for. Wait a minute. Strong here. Strong health potion plus blood amulet creates the vampirism amulet. That's not good. We have energy issues. We have 12 spikes, by the way. Uh, but we're gonna die from poison the way this is going. Uh, come on. Nice. And we somehow survive. We had 15 spikes at the end. And now the build is a go, because in reality we're a poison build. We go poison ivy, and what does poison ivy say? First of all, it says you have 5% chance to resist debuffs for each nature item. So that really fits, as the task piercers count as nature item. I don't know why the claws of attack doesn't count, but the task piercers do. And then also, of course, the nature item we already have invested into count for nature items. So as of this very moment, we have this amount for nature items. So that's 20% chance to resist debuffs. And also, whenever I gain a spike, inflict two poison. So the previous fight, we had 15 spikes. That would be 30 poison. And if the opponent ever reaches 18 poison, for the rest of the fight, they take 25 more damage. So there's that. Let's buy an inventory space. On some poison here, I don't care about it. I would like to go Wolpen Tiger for random buffs. Those random buffs are never gonna be spikes or empower, but can be regen and heat and mana. Very irrelevant things though, but energy gain is important. So I think we're gonna go with Wolpen Tiger for my energy gain. Is this nature? This is also nature, nice. And uh, I would like to roll here. I have only nine gold. I would say inventory space, roll again, and found mana gain. That's irrelevant completely to us. Yeah, this is completely relevant. Uh, right, it only costs one though, and it's gonna give 10% attack speed to two things. So it's as if I just bought the well known, um, what is this called? Fanny pack, but specifically for these items. Uh, what am I trying to do here? I'm just trying this to be touching. Yeah, nice. But I would like the this to be gaining attack speed. You know what? Let me do a mini reorganize time here. Perfect. All the stars are aligned, so I have 25% chance to not get debuffed, and all the foods are also touching each other. And let's roll one last time. No, there is no reason to. Let's go. I'm gonna go Wolpen Tiger next. And now I just need to find my spikes for those. And this is a weapon build. So weapon builds in general should be countered by us, as I am spikes build. And as long as my spikes are catching up to how oh, we're dying. <laughs> we are dying! <laughs> as long as my spikes are catching up to their damage. Yeah, they're not. 
Not fast enough. Uh, let's go with Wolpen Tiger. That should fix our energy issues, I would say. Or at least fix them partially. Attack speed is, in my opinion, a yes. Especially on the Wolpen Tiger. Roll them. And didn't find anything important. Roll again. And found inventory space. And let's go on. And let's go on. So let's see how this can go. Maybe actually attack speed should be here on the banana and the pineapple. Uh, we also need the max energy. Oh, look at how much, how fast we lose everything. We need max energy and energy potions, I would say. We are getting random buffs. I'm gonna get whatever that buff is in the corner now. Two regen, let's go. Uh, one or two more hits and we win. Nice, and we won. And they also had 20 poison, by the way. And also we had 10 spikes. So that's nice. Uh, we should be beating all the poison debuff builds, is the thing I'm thinking about. I'm not gonna go this. We do actually have energy issues. Uh, I would like this to be here, so th so that we give the attack speed to the two items I would care more about. And also, this is nature, as we just mentioned, so this should be somewhere that gets a boost. Uh, that's pretty hard to do right now. Or a 5% chance to resist debuffs. I'm gonna do it later. Bullum. I found another Wolpen Tiger. I would say yes to that to fix my energy issues and another spikes. Also, this fits. Okay, from all of these choices, I would say I should buy the spikes first. Actually, I would say the Bullpen Tiger first. That should do the biggest difference. Yeah, let's let's make the biggest difference. And now that I'm thinking about this, I do want to reorganize right now so that I can make the Poison Ivy be a bit more min-maxed. So let me actually try that now. Coming right back up. Okay, for right now, I think we're good. And I just need two more items in the first place. Like, I need one item in this corner, and then I need one item in this corner, and that's done. And then obviously the banana is going to go here. So one more pineapple is going to be lined up here. That's this. Uh, down here it's going to be that. And then up here, I guess, a carrot or... Um, I'm going to see what we're going to add there. Anyway, uh, let's go. Now with two Wolpen Tigers, we should be better with energy management. Uh, this is a dragon build. They don't really are ready, but they do have a bunch of gems here. Theoretically, we should have this. They're still using weapons, so the spikes are going to counter them very heavily. They also don't... They have an you know, Draconic Orb, but that's not going to be enough. We're getting too many things. And we won. Very nice. Very nice. A lot of horns are going off on our end here because of energy issues. Uh, definitely the Pineapple, I would say. And it's going to go here. Nice. And one more inventory space. Do I want more crits? Theoretically, but practically I care about spikes mostly, so I don't care about that that much. Panar Banana. I would say yes, energy issues are a thing we are having. Let's buy the Banana. And uh, now the banana should go up here, and we are done with this. This is maxed out, so that means it has all of its um, 3 plus 5, 8 connecting things, so we have a 40% chance to not take poison. Found uh, this inventory does not fit. We're pretty much done with inventory. I need the triple spotters. Uh, a garlic? Not really. Let's go. I want more spike generation. I want to find my two base spike things, and then also more pineapples if possible. Because we're a full-on spikes build. And also the max energy would be nice, so I don't have issues with energy, which we really, really heavily have right now. But it's okay, we get more and more things that fix my energy. I'm already at 12 spikes here. Now whatever damage they do, they take back. They have also 12 vampirism, but we did get, get the one. We got the win. What a, what a very powerful build they had, by the way. Double Hungry Blade and double Bloody Dagger. Very powerful vampire build, but we counter them with the 17 spikes. How much damage do the 17 spikes actually do? Yeah, look at this, 162 damage from spikes, now 125 from poison. Of course, poison is very important for us. And then they try to heal that 159 from Vampirism. So the spikes literally counter Vampirism almost one-to-one. -one. Three damage difference here. Literally. Very nice, very nice. One our blueberry. A bit irrelevant. Uh, I could go for hard containers. For regen and max life. But nah, I should really stick to what I'm trying to do here. So let's just roll them. I think I get like three to four luck. I definitely start with two luck. So that's like a temp this 10% crit chance if I buy this. But I, I need to get the things I want. Nice. That's exactly what I should be doing. Just just roll into the things I want. And I don't even want Potion Belt. I want the in, in, in the mana one. We're gonna buy this. By the way, I'm just literally missing two Potion Belts and we're done. With, oh, and this is definitely a yes. And this is also a yes. Because we do have energy issues and really game stamina gain is very, very, very important. If I can burst mana through, it's gonna be really good for us. If I could just, boom, just get a bunch of mana at the, midst, at the beginning of the game. Because the beginning of the game is when I want my most things to fire. We're already at 10 spikes. This guy has the 20 poison. We have less debuffs than them, and they are a debuff build. You're gone. You're gone. I mean, look at this. You think you can out-poison us, poison lady? Yeah, what is this? Kitty numbers, man. Look at this 25 good old poison over our end. 
It's not a poison build. I am a poison build. And we found a stamina pack. Very nice. I'm gonna buy this potion. And let's buy this. And let's also buy that. Let's see. It should go here. Nice. And this should go somewhere where it touches a lot of things. I would say here. It touches at least two things. And uh, let's go. And now I also have a heroic potion. So that means early game. I'm gonna instantly pop this up for uh, two mana. Two energy. Two energy and one empower. The empower is the important aspect here. It's about to fire in a moment. Didn't fire yet. Wow, we don't have energies anymore? What is this? Oh, I just got critted for 100. And I'm gonna crit it now for death. Ah, crit it to death. Oh! Whoa, we overtook them at the very end. Did you see that? At the very end, although I was supposed to lose. What happened? Why did they not kill us? Look at this. Here they smack us at 968. And they have 137 life. And then... They haven't smacked us, haven't smacked us, haven't smacked us. Boom, out of stamina. They had 4.5, but they needed 5. And they died. And they died. From mainly the claws of attack, because now they start taking over. Very nice. Attack speed 0.7. Very nice. Let's go with one more round. One, five more rounds, that is. I mean, this time I found crit cheap, so I'm still not gonna buy it. No, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, but where should I put it? Uh, it's gonna only affect two things. I'm not gonna put the... Th this is gonna stay here. 15% chance to get a higher chance for spikes is more important to me. Uh, it's only cost three, though. I would buy something that only cost three. Uh, I would like to put it up here, though. So let's do that. I want it to be definitely touching the claws of attack. And uh, let's go with a piggy bang, yo. This is not a piggy bang, of course. This is a good old Jinx Torquila. I would say here is the best spot. Literally hits all the weapons and also hits... Uh, this is also good. Hits most of the weapons over two, but hits... So here it hits all the weapons. Actually, let me just count the stars. So this is six stars plus boost on the... You know what? I could just put it here. Or here for that matter. No, no, no. Here's the best one. Yeah, we just go here. It's as simple as that. Hits most of the things I care about. And then you guys can just flip like this. And we're done. And these are still uh, animals. So these are getting both the 15% boost for animals. Of course, I could do this. And then this one would be gaining even more boost. But I would lose boost on pineapple and banana. Actually, only pineapple. I'm literally only gaining one pineapple plus. Well, then forget it. I'm going with a 15% boost on the this thing. Forget one pineapple getting boosted. Let's switch these around again. And let's wall them. And I found our energy extremely important and also more starting shielding. Why not? Energy. Th this energy is going to be extremely important because now having two energy that lined up is going to give us a lot more. Okay, this is also Spike's build. This is literally the same build with us, but they have the Bloodthorn, which is the best installed weapon for this build. Let's see who wins. Now, we do have more Spikes than they have Vampirism, so we are winning. And we actually won, because this is how you do this build and not like that. They even had a Shield of Valor countering us, by the way, and they even had Vampirism and a weapon that can get benefit from Vampirism. I mean, I can also benefit with a Claws of Attack. Still, we destroyed them. Who had more Spikes? Uh, I had more damage through this, and also Bloodthorn 115. So their main weapon did more. Their Spikes did more and their poison did less wow we barely survived i think we overtook them because we had more in power i guess i don't know still one easy enough wow i just got a random uh, cheap first of all cheap <laughs> i got a random cheap uh two percent chance to get a unique i got a dancing dragon deals 0 0.5 more damage per heat and you have two percent chance to resist debuffs per luck instead of being battle gain two heat and two luck which magic item do i even have a single magic item um, it seems like I do not. This is huge, by the way. This is a 3x3. Three 3x3, three. Three three, not 3x3. Three three. I guess it's a 4x4, 4x2, four by, four by two minus 2 spots. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, this spends 2 stamina to attack. It's never, ever, ever, ever gonna attack in my build. This is useless for us. I wanted it. I wanted to get the unique, but not this one. Let's buy it, and because it's, it was sale for 6, I'm gonna also sell it at the same time. Boom. Your hearts have just dropped, I'm pretty sure. I don't want this. I now want just one more spike to combine with a short bow. I don't need another spike. And we found it through one whip, but once again, we do have energy issues anyway. No. Uh, I guess I'm gonna get this. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna get this. So let's put it up here, and we're pretty much done with inventory management. And if anything, I would say these should be both aligned with the potions so that the potions can be, however, but I don't think that's really possible. I need to do like a whole reorganize here, and even then I'm not really sure if that's gonna work out. I should do it though, these give us random buffs. Um, first potion consumed, gain random buff, and then four potions consumed, cleanse four debuffs. And if I do that twice, that's cleanse eight debuffs. 
Well, for now, it's just two more buffs for a whole reorganize. For now, I'm not really gonna care. Let's definitely not lose my potions here. If I get four potions, then I will do a reorganize. Right now, with two potions, it's very irrelevant. I mean, at the third potions, I'm already gonna reorganize because I'm gonna need to transfer them over to the left side. So let's see how this can go. We lose all our buffs, by the way. They have missed struggles. I'm keeping my spikes up. They're losing the poison battle. They lose the whole battle. Easily won. By the way, they had double pandemonium. So that means they were a poison build. They were a true poison build, and we still completely countered them. <laughs> we actually outpoisoned them. We outpoisoned the true poison build. A bit unbelievable to me. This still costs one. I'm still gonna buy things that cost one for the 10% attack speed they provide to us. Uh, reduce damage taken f by 25% for the first three seconds. I would say this does make a big difference for our build. And we found another good old spike gain. Might as well put it up there. Does it get hit by the Torquilla? I wouldn't say so. Um, the mana can be here then. Actually, I would say the mana should be here. Nice. Should this now be here so it hits more things? That still only hits a couple things. Uh, let's roll. And we found our energy and another Torquilla, of course, very important. And I would say that another Torquilla goes here. So we're gonna buy the Torquilla and the energy. And another Wolf and Tiger, I wouldn't say is that important. I'm pretty sure we're pretty much done at this point. So uh, let's go, I would say. Uh, yeah, let's go. I do enjoy what we have found here. I don't really care about the Wolf and Tiger. By the way, I could also go with Bow and Arrow and try to get this thing going here. The Belladonis. No, no, the... What happened? I had this. Anyway, I can find it in items too, so who cares? So it should be in Ranger in Craft Items. Here you go. So Task Piercer. The start of battle gain two spikes and weapon hit. Use one spike to uh, for the next attack to do plus eight damage. So that like charges up and then shoots a huge bow shot. But I don't think I care about that. I care about keeping the spikes. Anyway, we're gonna go with these. Let's go. Let's -a go. Uh, I will need to reorganize next turn, which is gonna be pretty hefty here. Uh, is it? I'm gonna see. And this is the gain a bunch of random buffs build. Uh, still a melee build, so as long as the opponent is melee, we just gain spikes and spikes and spikes. And if they hit us into a big spike, they're gonna die, but they got us with 130 damage smack there at the end. With a huge uh, 120, 135 damage <laughs> busted blade. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, to be honest. Uh, let's buy both of the things we mentioned we want to buy. And now I will do need to do a reorganize time, which is gonna take a while, because I need to transfer the whole potion line to the other side. So give me a second, and I'm coming right back up. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I wouldn't really say this is a better transition, to be completely and not really honest. But at the same time, I think it's also okay. So... Yeah, I will need to reorganize one more time next time. Uh, maybe I made this worse. There is a good chance that might be the case. Uh, but I think we got this. If it's worse, come down below and tell me. I'm gonna sell now both of these items. And I would also like to sell one more item to maybe get the stone skin potion in time. So, what should that one more item be? Definitely not the crit chance. What is an item that I don't care about here? I would like to buy the stone skin potion and put it in that zone. That's what I'm thinking here, really. But I don't really have anything to sell. This sells for one. Uh, banana sells for two, but I don't really want to sell the bananas. We still have energy issues. I don't want to sell anything, so I can't really buy the stone skin potion to put it on the cap of resilience, to be honest. And by the way, I sold the bow and arrow because I also am not going to gain the combo in time. So we're going to go three tusk pokers and a claw of attack as my main weapon. Both of the jinxter killers are hitting the claw of attack, so it should be gaining speed. And also, both of them are hitting this banana. And also, these here are going to give us energy. And these are also going to give us energy. We should not run out of energy. Uh, I would say we roll... Right, we roll into something, I don't know. Wow, yeah, that's a good roll, I would say. And even starting energy is good. And that is going to be it. And most likely the end of the fight. We're gonna just buy these two and we're gonna be done with the game. So this is a Molten Dagger build and a Dark Saber build. We should have this. Anything that actually hits into the spikes and dies on itself is good. Is weak against us. We are out poisoning them like crazy. Now we have 20 spikes, so they cannot even hit us for more than what they take back. Easy enough. Easy enough. How much damage was it doing? 14 to 19. So that means no matter what, how much damage it did, it would take back the full amount. 12 to 16, once again, the full amount. They had a double dragon protecting them, but that definitely was not enough. Let's see and actually cross-reference if I'm correct. I am correct. 186 damage from the spikes alone <laughs> without me doing anything. And then poison 108 and then my actual attacks uh, even more. Really nice builds. Counters most of the game. This build counters mostly everything. Let's go one, two, 
Three, four, five. Did a lot, I don't know the music. Uh, and we won, right? You go here. Uh, this is gonna somehow fit. I got this. And I found a corrupted crystal, which on a piece of inventory, which I don't have. <laughs> I was thinking about getting the seven debuffs thing, but that's not possible. Uh, I would like to somehow fit the cup of resilience somewhere. And it definitely fits somewhere. It can't be that it's not gonna fit. This is the only single spotter I have. These are triple spotters. Here, it's gonna fit right here. And we're done. And we're pretty much done. I don't think we can buy anything else. Um, even this 10% tax, but I don't think it's worth it. Res Wallum. Maybe a stone. Nope, I did find a cheap Wallace Tusk, which is like spitting us in the face, but it's okay. And we won. Let's go ahead. I mean, we won because I have three lives with one survive turn, but let's see how the last final is gonna go. We have so many spikes here at the end. Uh, this is also... Uh, this is a Poison Blind build. With a steal a random bet buff from the opponent. Let's see if they take spikes away from us. We just got so many buffs, them stealing is not gonna be fast enough. Oh no, they got damage immunity, who cares? I'm already at 12 spikes. Their main damage is through Holy Spear. So, and this does up to 24 damage. So the moment I hit 24 spikes, they will guarantee take everything back. We are losing this though, we are losing this. Uh, and somehow, oh, one more crit and we die. And that was not a crit. And we're still alive, but we died at the end. Fair enough. We died obviously because they had the second revive there that just hit at the end. Uh, they had a good weapon, I have to say, and they also had a Cap of Discomfort, which already, uh, which obviously took away things from us. Look at this, though. This this was very strong from them and from us at the same time. We had control of this fight, but they took over. We had 31 spikes, that makes my Claws of Attack crazy. We had 7 Empower, so that makes most of these things do a lot of damage. And then they definitely also had 50 poison. So overall, we were pretty good, but they were better. Mainly, I would say the Cap of Discomfort would make the difference. Or did this even boost them? No, they never got the Gin Lamp boost. So I would say mainly the one because of the Cap of Discomfort that took away part of our healing, as we did have a lot of healing in general. Um, not really that, that, that crazy healing. Still, I do believe that. I do believe that the Poison was the main difference maker. The Cap of Discomfort. I might be wrong about that. 15% chance of losing buffs makes a difference. Um, they also had a better build than us, to be honest. 304 damage with a spear there, 114 with the spikes. That's also a good indication that something went wrong. Normally, the Holy Spear should not be able to do more damage than the spikes. The spikes should be doing more. Um, if not, at least 200 damage should have been done. And we didn't even reflect one, uh, yeah. We reflected only one third of their damage, although in most of these fights we're reflecting almost half, if not more, of their damage. So that was also a big difference maker. Uh, this was doing 23 to 30, so we should reflect everything. But of course, they were critting us like crazy, so that is a big difference maker. Even with us having two Jinx or Killers removing luck, they still had five luck, as they did have Wolf and Tigress and also buff stealing. Overall, this went well, but we still lost. And we, they also had Moon Shields, which are pretty much... Um, yeah, which uh, which also counter us. Double moon shield makes us lose a bunch of stamina very fast, and also blocking twelve hit per hit, twelve blocking per hit is all our damage. Honestly, like this was doing eleven to twelve, this was doing nine to ten, nine to ten, nine to ten, and they had two times the chance to block twelve. So they had two times the chance to block all our damage on every single one of our attacks, and that really much shows. As Tus Poker did like 12, 20. This one did thirteen. This one did ten. 10 damage. You see, I critted for zero. Literally what I was trying to mention here, because they blocked it. And I think that was happening, like, the whole fight. Zero damage from... Actually, no, that was because they had the... Um, let's actually go before the holy activation. Claws of attack, zero. And then they drained my shield, my stamina twice. Why? Because it blocked twice. Before that. Okay, we hit here. That was normal hit. Every time it says stamina, we do zero damage. Every time this red line, up, uh, red line appears. Yeah, zero stamina, boom, two damage. Um, zero, zero damage, boom, again Zero damage, again You see, they, they blocked a lot of it They blocked a lot of it because of the double shield Z Zero damage, here again Stamina, boom, zero damage You see, they, they blocked us very heavily Very heavily Stamina, boom, three Crit damage, three Yep, this counters us Makes sense though, I mean, makes sense that the shields counter multiple weapon build because that's exactly what they were designed to do. So we just happened to fight against the counter. It is what it is. It would be nice to fight a flame fight at the end. I do enjoy fighting against pyros with spikes build and whatnot. But it's okay. It is what it is. We still won the run itself. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.